Hello, this is Rexel. To make a custom brush in Krita, first you need to choose an existing brush. The brush you're going to choose depends on what type of brush you want to make. So you need to open this first, the brush presets docker. And you can only um, see this if you have the brush presets docker uh, shown in your docker's menu. You can also open it by going by pressing Ctrl Enter, then searching brush presets. This can only work in Krita 5. In Krita 4, it doesn't have this feature. Then, once you have brush presets, you can just search for a brush that you want to base off of. So, say I want to base a brush from this one. Let's make a custom brush using this brush. So, once I selected that, let's go to the brush settings. You can either go over here and click this little image icon or you can go and press Control enter again and search for brush editor and this will show up in the brush editor you can see that we have a lot of options and settings so um, it's good practice to use an existing brush that um, already has the features that you want and just change it slightly then make a new brush out of that so since we have this one um, this brush we can we're gonna add uh, our own brush tip um, we, you can use um, existing brush tips here in Krita uh, it has um, default brush tips loaded in here so first you need to go here into predefined to see all the brush tips that are that are available so this one can work this one, this one can work but we want something that we created on our own so say um, let's close this for now say I want to make a leaf brush so um, Krita has a really convenient way of using um, like what's already in the canvas to make a brush out of that so let's make a new one you have to control click this icon then once you have that you can go to the brush editor again oh and you have to choose the brush again so um, its name was this one so the brush is this one you can see it right now and we're gonna add stamp since we have this layer selected right and the pixels of that image um, when we click stamp it will already use that information so let's just and let's just add a name for it so leaf demo save now we have this one so um, let's deselect this and you can see um, it's scattering the image that we just made like five seconds ago into the brush that we're um, we're using so right now it doesn't look really pretty because um, its settings aren't optimized for this type this type of um, stamp we can do that by changing the size a bit so we can go to fuzzy tab instead of pressure and use this one um, it'll have a little bit of more variation in the brush size we can also change the spacing over here and we can add more spacing so that um, it's more sparse and all over the place much like real leaves on a branch so um, with this method let's add a new layer we can um, it's not even like um, five minutes and we already made the new brush which we can make complex scenes out of so let's make um, some sort of bush here and that's already really really complicated looking but we saved so much time and if I were to hand paint this um, um, it would take like a lot longer so that's the power of the of custom brush tips um, now that we're at this stage we haven't actually saved it yet so we need to go back into the brush editor 
save this as a new brush preset right over here we have a bunch of options here since uh, we can actually make our own thumbnail um, good practice for this is to make your brush color uh, black so I have it black here go back to the brush editor save brush save new brush preset then um, click this one load icon from uh, load from icon library then um, you can choose from a number of different icons here for now I'm just gonna use this one since this is a stamp tool then I'm just gonna dab in some brush some brush um, leaves here then save it as um, whatever you want uh, it's good practice to have a prefix for your own brushes that you made so for me I put RX in every brush that I made uh, space then whatever name I want so RX leaf demo so when I search for here right over here on the brush presets I can go in and press um, type in RX and it will show up all the brushes that I made personally and if I search for RX leaf and that brush will show up so when I select that it's gonna be this one uh, you can also add a tag to your brushes you can right click it and uh, add a new tag or add it to the existing tags that you have here so we can put it on the textures so when I go to textures it will show up there so this is the textures tag this is all the brushes that have the textures tag on them and you can see that uh, my brush is already here and um, a brush can have multiple tags on them so I can also assign digital to this one too so when I go to digital uh, it'll also show up there now um, this isn't the only way you can add a tag to your brushes so say you had you have lots of brushes that you made and you want to organize them you can also do that by going to the resource manager which is um, you can you can go again here resource oh wait, um, manage resources there or you can go to settings then manage resources same thing I'll show this up and um, you need to look for your brush in the local resources all the brushes that you personally made uh, in your Krita program will show up here in the local resources all the brushes that you personally made here in Krita will show up in local resources you can just search for it so uh, its name is leaf demo so it'll show up but um, say I want to organize all the brushes so all the brushes that I have have the RX prefix then I can just select them then add a tag so say I can make a new tag say it's mine so um, when I go to the mine tag it'll show all the brushes that I made you can also um, batch delete tags so uh, say I want this to have textures but these ones I want to remove the mine so these uh, these brushes will have mine and textures these will have none so you can also tag all of them or um, take out all of their tags and just add them to a single tag so all of them will have the mine tag with them um, so this is a really welcome feature from Krita 5 um, from Krita 4 doesn't really have this so it was a bit clunky to make new brushes and organize them and um, share it to other people but now it's been uh, really wonderful that they made this change I have lots more brushes here compared to the ones here because um, this isn't all of the brushes that I'm using right now since it's only looking at local resources so for now there's no option to see all the active brushes and bundles that you have you need to um, look for them on their respective bundles so here this is for the for Krita 3 this is for Krita 4 um, this is for RGBA and all that stuff but 
if you just want to make your own custom brushes everything's fine because you can just look for your brushes in the local resources um, drop down menu so let me know if this helped you uh, Krita 5 is available for download links in the description and this has been Rexel and thanks for watching Thank you.